Hey, welcome back to Chernobylite, everyone. Alright, so in the last episode, we helped Olga uh, rescue P Kostya. And right now, I'll be honest, I don't really know what to do next. Well, I mean, I know what to do next, but I, I don't know what I want to do next. <laughs> Alright, so, I think... Oh, first off... Whoa, what was that? First off, let's craft at least two lockpicks. And then, other than that, I think we're fine. Can we craft... I wonder... I don't think we can craft um, AK bullets, can we? Where do, you, where do you even craft bullets? I think that might be a thing of its own. Just have a quick look. It might be under... Oh, I don't know. Let's see, sheet metal. Okay, industrial furnace. Uh, that's cr that's to create armor and stuff like that. Okay. Matter negator, force field generator. What the hell? Revol. Okay, we've got that actually. We've got that. All kinds of upgrades to the shotgun. Not interested to be honest. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. Uh, we've got this already. Molecular plasma thrower. Molecular battery. Railgun, yeah. we'll we'll probably get to it someday. Maybe we'll have to to wait and see. Here we go. This is for the ammo. Pity that we don't have the the supplies for it though. All right, and you'll see that Olga is waiting here, and she's going to tell us a little something. I'm guessing. Yeah. Also. Только сейчас? Я думал, вы изучили эти места вдоль и поперек. Они обнаружили, что старый советский бункер был переоборудован. Похоже, совсем недавно. Продолжай. Мы в эту часть леса особо не суемся. Там полно скрытней и наровцев, поэтому ничего не знали. И Матвей думает, что это тюрьма. Именно. Там держат кого-то под охраной. Возможно, кого-то важного. Информации мало, но, думаю, проверить стоит. Тем более, охраны там толком нет. Определенно надо проверить. Думаешь, там может быть твоя мама? Нет, не думаю. Ее больше нет. Я давно смирилась с этим. Так что? Хочешь, чтобы я прогулялся до этого тюремного бункера? Я бы не стала просить, но это действительно важно. А у Матвея сейчас дел по горло. Ты в деле? Uh, yeah, I am in, of course, but... Ты права. Надо проверить, что это за место. Я посмотрю. Вот и славно. Иди и возвращайся с хорошими новостями. Hold your horses there. I don't think we're gonna do it right now. Yeah, let's let's have a look. What what do we have here? Okay, the food supplies we're gonna send Mikhail on because he's it's got a good. Uh, chance of getting it done. This one, I mean, the only one we can send is Oliver. So, yeah, let's send Oliver in for that, and then what do we want to do? The old documents. Oliver discovered that the NAR. I'd send a special unit. Okay, we're, we're not going to take on any special units right now. A memento from the past. Oh, that's right. This guy, what was his name? Rakaton or Karakon or something like that. Now, he wants to meet in person somewhere near the Moscow Eye, but he didn't mention why. Oh, look at that. You can look at the resources. There's a high level of chemicals in the red forest. Medium level of um, electronic parts in Pripyat port. Apache's got high. Oh my goodness. How did I never notice this? Okay, hold up. You see that? 
sorry, uh, Mikhail, but, oh, wait a minute, actually, send Mikhail out on that one, and then Oliver gets an off day. Hmm. Yeah, Oliver gets an off day. Olga, you just sit around and do nothing. <laughs> and then I will go out on the food drop in Pripyat Central. Alright, here we go. Alright, so this is our first time in Pripyat Central. We need to keep an eye out for anything. Anything and everything. Oh, look at this already? What? Well, don't mind if I do. Oh, wow. Like, right on top of us. Now, we want electronical parts. Let's just switch to that. Wait, oh, oh, who's seeing me? How is someone still seeing me? Am I blind? Oh, there he is. We need to watch out for him. Before we move on... Wait, let's just get a hiding spot. Let's just have a quick look at this map. Oh, wow, this is a big one. Oh, then look at that. The locksmith here. And who's this? Evgeny? Evgeny? Who's that? Isn't that the gangster? Bratva for life? And the vagabonds here. What the hell? And what's this? Like an underground section or something? No. Wait, what's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. We <laughs> I forgot. We actually came here for the food drop. Well, we didn't really come for the food drop. But that is an added little bonus, which we will gladly accept. Now, obviously, there's two things we need to watch out for. I mean, okay, there's a bunch of things. Okay, I see one. Oh! It's such a pity it doesn't highlight them. I'm really hoping someone doesn't see me now. You seem to be fine. Oh, come on. Oh, got some loot over here. Surely he wasn't alone. Nice. That's what we want. We need a lot of it. A whole lot of it, man. And bullets, actually. We need bullets. Because right now, we are running low. Except if we craft a, um, a, um, a revolver. Then we should be fine again, but I mean, when you've got an AK and a shotgun, you don't really want to be running around with a revolver, do you? Desperate times, desperate measures, right? There's radiation over there. I really wish we could upgrade the scanner. We can, ooh, oh, so we can upgrade more. Uh, I mean, scan more, more often at least. Okay, I see you, radiation, but I also see a backpack. 
I thought that tree stump was a body. You just got a lot of stuff, by the way. What's that? Oh, that was anti-rad. Nice. I don't know why we just scanned the same area again. Oh, but it kind of worked out. Very nice. Oh, shit. There's someone right in front. What was that noise? It sounded like someone took a shot at me. Oh no. I think we'll be safe to take this guy out. Alright, so far so good, but we all know how quickly things can change. Oh, shit. Got two more over there. One of them is pretty geared. The Black Stalker should be here any moment. Oh, I see electronical parts. Oh, there's more. Nice. This is very good news for us. Man, it is so dark. As always, I'll brighten it up for you guys, but... Right now, I can't really see anything. He's here, he's here, he's here. We're just gonna hide here right now. <laughs> see, he can't see us at all. Unless if he spawns right next to me, then I'm gonna be in big trouble. Please don't spawn right next to me. Oh, that's pretty close. Man, I wish I could take his gun. I, I feel like... Should lead me right to him. I feel like they could have done the Black Stalker a lot better. Like, this is how you beat him. Oh shit. I mean, this is insane difficulty, right? And I'm just sitting here right in front of him. He has no clue of where I am. I think it's kind of stupid, to be honest. No hate, of course. But I just think... Uh, my honest opinion is just that this sh could have been done a lot better. I would have made him spawn anywhere on the map. And then... Um, just make it extremely easy for him to spot you from long ranges. As if he's got thermals or whatever, you know, something like that. But right now, this is kind of stupid. It's really sad to see how easy it is. See ya, buddy. I win. <laughs> Do you see that gun, though? Oh, 
Uh, I sort of here somewhere. Here we go. Grab it. There we go. You got it. Oh no, is there going to be... It's radiation here. I hear him. Problem is, where is his friend though? Yeah, see? No, the friend's coming this way. We gotta move up a bit. Move across. Oh shit. Was not expecting that. There's a tunnel there, but you need the anti Chernobylite thingy. Uh, which really sucks. Alright, he's gonna turn around any second now. And then we can take this guy out. No issue at all. Whew, okay, so far so good. Nice, first aid kit, man. Oh, come on, can't climb that? Get down. Oh, he saw him. He saw the dead body. Or oh, not the dead body. He just subdued him. No way. Now we just need to slowly sneak up on him. We've got more than enough time. Very nice. Yeah, that's at least one patrol down. Unless there's another one so hitting, hiding somewhere. But I kind of doubt it. Mostly they come in threes. Now I am kind of doubting myself a little. Just want to see what's down here. Nothing really, okay. Looks like they've got a little stronghold over here. I don't see any more of them though. Or oh, I'm just blind. Oh shit, plus there's radiation there. Can we open this? We cannot. Oh, it looks like there's a lot to explore there though. Oh, we've actually got a point of interest over here. I thought they said there was a lot of electronics in this place. I'm hardly finding any. What the hell? Oh, food ration? Nice. <gasps> oh! Did not see him. A lot of radiation there as well. Here we go. Give us the goods. This generator just randomly that is on and running? What the hell?
Nice. I see uh, electronics up there. Ooh, wow. Full herbs. That is insane. Hello? What's that noise? I just, I swear I just heard something. 20 rifle ammo, that's gonna come in handy. No way he's here again. Is he gonna spawn right in front of me? That would really suck. Can we just go brat 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 and he dies? <laughs> what what the hell was that man? Brat brat brat. Alright, so I just had to skip this uh Black Stalker event again because I mean it just takes so long and all we do is just sit there. I'm not gonna fight him if I don't have to, so I mean there's that's just the way it is. Uh, plus, we didn't really have uh, the supplies to even take him on, so there's that as well. Good amount of supplies here. Yeah, those looks like barracks and, and military camps over there, so maybe we get some good supplies over there. Now, we still got a point of interest over here, and it looks like it might be all the way at the top. How cool would that be? the hell we don't like that oh shit I mean I'm really feeling the stairs but okay I guess the lift it is oh man I hate I I'm fine with lifts but, but one that small I don't know man Oh shit. Look at this view. Why did I get the whispers? Can we go there? That looks like an accessible area. No. Definitely not. Something in there? No. That looks like a better... No. What is that? What was that? Oh, wow. <laughs> was not expecting that. I... Are you okay? Please give me the gun. Oh, no. Тебе обязательно раскапывать могилы, чтобы найти себе девушку, Игорь! голосу из пустоты. Внемли голосу из пустоты! Повтори слова, слетающие с моих мертвых губ. Повтори слова, слетающие с моих мертвых губ. <laughs> I'm not liking this. Вечно. 
то, что может пережить саму любовь. Найдешь лишь то, что не умерло, то, что может покоиться вечно. То, что может пережить саму любовь. Тебе обязательно разгабывать могилы, чтобы найти себе девушку, Ига. Тебе обязательно разгабывать okay, могилы, чтобы найти себе now? девушку, Ига. Внемли голосу из пустоты. Внемли голосу из пустоты. Yeah, I have a feeling he's done. I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah, okay. He's done. I was hoping to find something at least. Kinda sucks, but okay. Oh shit. Hey, we found something. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive, man. Where's the pistol? Nope, no pistol. Alright, well. I am most definitely not taking the lift this time. I will be taking these stairs. Deep breaths. What? Wait, what? Oh, okay. All right, well, we lost him again. He did some damage this time. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous that he's been here three times in the same mission. That that's just boggles the mind. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I'll say on that. All right, we are in the new area. Well, not new area, but... Hmm... Yeah, I think we're, <laughs> we're going to be on this mission for quite some time. So I think the Black Stalker, we're going to see him a lot more. Maybe it would just be better to take him out or try and take him out. We don't have to worry about him in this mission anymore. Oh, who's this? This has got to be the Vagabond, right? Привет, привет. Хочешь поторговать? Не могу не спросить. Мы же в самой жопе мира. Почему ты вообще этим здесь занимаешься? Здесь повсюду жопа мира, друг мой. Иногда для того, чтобы построить успешный бизнес, приходится сворачивать с проторенной дорожки. Этому меня лично Уоррен Баффет научил. Oh yeah, we've all heard these lines from him before. Uh, exchange some food for gear. Ладно, I... uh, no. Oh wait, I always get it the wrong way around. Ты что-нибудь покуп? Конечно. What do you have? Wait, I don't have any food ration. Oh, I do, I do. Oh no! I had it the right way around. Okay, no. Удачи с твоей. Ha! Spike. I don't want anything you have to offer, but thanks for the offer anyway. But there's something right here. I didn't see that. Oh, there he is. Oh shit. Alright, uh, 
yeah, let's just get straight in there. See what we can find, eh? Oh shit, we're right in front of a clue. После воздействия Чернобылета люди могут общаться друг с другом. Поэтому они видят Татьяну. Поэtomu ее вижу. Я Don't read what he was uh, saying there. Object. Uh, Caucasian female. Yekaterina Levedeva? Leve um, uh, I butchered that. I know I did. Age 9 years old. NAR Bio Division Facility. Nano Solution Administered. B13 B235. Status dormant until 2008. Low telepathic activity. Oh shit, okay. Trial number 12B. Objective. Accelerate objects. Where do I hear this guy? Oh, shit. Oh, he's above us. Okay. But there's one of them green dudes over there. Let's just continue reading. We decided to uh, accelerate objects, super concussions, consciousness, reading for gate manipulation, proceedings. We decided to administer doses of radiation on the sub test subjects in order to increase the speed in which the subjects reach the super consciousness state. Subject began talking about the woman in the red dress. That's Tatiana. So we put them in a medically induced coma to avoid complications caused by stress and exposure to what we believe could be a form of hive mind. First, initial. First, initial dosage of 500 MSV for one hour. Apply to weaken the immune system and decrease the latency of the gamma brainwaves. Response, object responded as expected. Second dose of one SV uh, for 80 minutes. Apply to focus the energy flow from within the sympathetic system through the thalamic gate at the brain stem and to the pineal, pineal, pineal gland. Response, object responded as, respect, as expected. Third and last dose of 5 SV caused the subject to enter the state of communion with the Chernobylite network. It, it allowed us to keep the gate stable for approximately one hour after, after that time. The subject died due to radiation exposure and as a conscience and as a consequence, the gate shut down, handwritten. We need to continue looking for a way to increase the subject's longevity, but time is running out. I only hope that we won't have to bet everything on patient zero. It's our only insurance policy. Alright. Now guys, it seems like there's quite a lot to do in here, so I think let's, oh, let's take a break right here. And then uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you have a great night.